like to call the meeting to order for Monday, October 17th, 2016. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bob Kirk will lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this day and for the many blessings which have come our way. Dear Lord, we thank you tonight for the many freedoms that we enjoy, such as this assembly and the many other freedoms that we enjoy. As because we are a democracy, we represent all the people and all the people have the voice in the government. May we never lose sight of what the Founding Fathers taught us many years ago, that we have a great country, but we must have values and we must take care of all the people within our boundaries as we go through this life. Dear Lord, please be with the military as they continue to serve us and offer us more freedoms around the world. Be with those who have lost loved ones. Let them know if they walk hand in hand with you, they can be sustained during this most difficult time. Dear Lord, please be with us tonight as we make the decisions that affect each and every citizen of this great community. And may we never lose sight of the responsibilities that we have as elected officials to care of this community and this county and this state and this nation forward. Thank you for the many blessings and forgive us of our sins. We ask in your name and for your sake. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. Next item, agenda roll call. Uh, please show all present here tonight, Mr. Recorder. Next item <clears throat> on the agenda, agenda approval of minutes for October 3rd, 2016. Entertain a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Motion from Carolyn Norman. Is there a second? Second. Second from Robert Taylor, Jr. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Unfinished business? Is there any unfinished business? <coughs> Under new business, public hearing for a beer permit, uh, J, and I can't pronounce your last name, Meldi. Uh, doing business as Nancy Food Mart, 2261 St. John Avenue, Dysburg, Tennessee, 38024. Captain Moody, I think, is going to come before us. <coughs> Mayor and Board, uh, we did a background investigation. Everything appears, appears to be in order. Uh, nothing came out of the investigation to uh, uh, prevent them from having permit issued. Everything seems to be in order. All right, thank you. And in your packet is the uh, part of the application, the notice of application that was put in the State Gazette, given proper notice, and also the uh, survey of that. So you've heard the recommendation to approve this motion. It, first off, there's a public hearing. Does anybody here wish to speak to this? So move we approve. A motion from Bob Kirk. Is there a second? Second. Second from Kevin Cheney. Again, it's a public hearing. We've got a motion and a second. Anybody here wish to speak to it? Seeing none, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Attorney invoice, uh, that was attached uh, to your packet as well. <clears throat> the invoice is in the amount of $18,337.50. Entertain a motion to approve that. I move. Motion from Mike Morgan, is there a second? Second. Second from Terry Glover, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Bids, Greg Williams. Greg, I think you've got one bid on here, but then today you did some research. You wanna do both of them while you're here? About the tractor, why don't we do that? Okay, the first item is for the police department. It is for a patrol package SUV to be used by Chief Isbell. This is not a budgeted item, but uh, funds will be utilized from the drug fund. Notification was given through the State Gazette and direct to five vendors. I had four responses, the lowest being uh, $28,425.72 from Gene Langley Ford of Humboldt. So that is my recommendation to award the bid to Gene Lang and forward Humboldt. You've heard the recommendation. Entertain a motion to approve this. So, so moved. 
I have a motion from Bill Eskew, second from Mike Morgan. Any discussion? Is this like uh, <laughs> the, the others that we have included in the fleet recently? It is. It, this it, it won't be marked up and it won't have uh, cages and lights and, and such at this point. Uh, when he gets through with the so, use of the vehicle, then it can be transferred to investigation or patrol. For his use? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those aye. opposed? Motion carries. Next item, I think that was passed out to you uh, earlier tonight from the meeting today. The next item was discussed at the uh, street sanitation committee meeting this morning. And when the decision was made, uh, rather than to replace the engine in the tractor at the landfill, was to buy a, a newer used tractor. Uh, they have one available at, at Tri-County Farmers Equipment in, in New Bern. I did some research and found some comparable um, tractors on the one that we're buying and also uh, comparable models that we have. And we got back in touch with uh, the dealership and they agreed to lower the price to $195,000. They're giving us $65,000 per hour. So that gives a net purchase of 130000 and there is money in the solid waste fund to accomplish that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we had a Sanitation Street Committee meeting this morning that was approved in that committee. We'll read the minutes of that later. Uh, we were asked, number one, to do some due diligence. You've done that. Steve was asked to see if there was money in the solid waste fund to buy that, and there is. So uh, that's a recommendation from Greg. Got anything in motion to approve the purchase of a used tractor at the landfill? So moved. A motion from Kevin Cheney. Is there a second? Second. A second from Bill Eskew. Any questions or discussion? Good job. Getting that down. Okay. A motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item on agenda gas, water, sewer committee meeting minutes from October 11th, 2016. Chairman <coughs> Terry Glover. The gas, uh, water, sewer committee met Tuesday, October 11th, 2016, at 9 a.m. in the second floor of conference room at City Hall. Members present Chairman Terry Glover, Mayor John Holden, Alderman Robert Taylor Jr and Kevin Cheney. Staff and other attendees, Steve Anderson, Treasurer, Greg Williams, Percy, Jeff Moore, Water Treatment, Scott Ball, Construction Storm, uh, Water Inspector, Mike McCullough, Water Sewer Street Department, Brandon Hudson, State Gazette. New business items to be discussed, ordinance declaration of water shortage emergencies and implementation guidelines. Jeff Moore discussed an ordinance of this uh, of the city of Dyersburg to authorize a declaration of war shortage emergencies and the implementation of guidelines for water shortage emergencies. The city has received an unconditional approval from the state of Tennessee to proceed with the mayor and board of owners to approve, uh, approval for this uh, ordinance. Mr. Moore stated the state desires for cities to be proactive management guidelines in the event of local water uh, drought emergency conditions. Uh, Chairman Glover called for a motion to approve the ordinance. The motion was made by Alderman Kevin Cheney and second by Alderman Robert Taylor. The motion passed by full committee vote and will be recommended to the full board of Mayor Alderman. <coughs> now, do we need to make a, we don't need it. No, sir. <coughs> no, sir, because at the meeting on November the 7th, we're gonna have a public hearing about this. We just wanna bring it to the uh, attention of the, of the committee to let you know why it was being passed. So November 7th, we'll do that. And we're not in a big shortage now. No, sir, no shortage of water. Right. Is near selection uh, for SSES Sanitary Sewer Evaluation Study. Scott Ball presented the results of a request for proposal for SSES Sanitary Sewer Evaluation Study. The following was noted. The project is a budget project at 275000 and the proje projected contracted cost is $268,285. Several propo seven proposals were submitted to the city. Three were selected for final review by the committee. Gresham, Smith, and partners were selected for contract approval. Hydromax will be hired as the field assessment, assessment company. The public will be notified prior to all sewer line assessment. And uh, the city water and sewer department staff will be trained alongside the Hydromax staff to learn the proper assessment procedures for future assessment and maintenance of the city sewer line. Chairman Glover called for a motion to approve the contract with Gresham Smith and Partners as presented. 
Alderman Cheney, uh, motion to approve the contract with the second by Mayor Holden. The motion passed for a final recommendation to the Mayor and Board uh, of Alderman. Community Development Plot Grant Number 3. Scott Ball discussed the next opportunity for a city involving in a 2016 CDB for the State of Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development. The total grant, the grant totals $596,598. The cost of the city will be uh, main water pump um, will be approximately $71,594. The intent of the grant is to replace aging equipment in the main water uh, wastewater pump station, micro screens, weirs, and grid chamber at the wastewater treatment plant. City Engineering Solutions will be assessing, assisting in, assisting in design, and community development partners will be an administration agent. And with no further business, the meeting was adjourned. Okay. I think we need a motion on item number two, the engineer selection for the sanitary sewer evaluation study. <coughs> Don't move. A motion from Bob Kirk. Is there a second? Second. Second from Terry Glover. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Glover. Uh, the next item on the agenda, <coughs> resolution 10172016, a resolution authorizing the city of Dinesburg, Tennessee to participate in the TML Risk Management Pool Safety Partners Matching Driver Safety Grant Program, something Sue T does every year. Uh, asking for your approval to do that. It's about $1,900. Is that right? Okay. <coughs> okay. Any questions about it? We do this every year, I think. A couple of grants that uh, uh, the pool allows us to participate in, and we've done that. Any questions of Chief Ware? So it's $850, $900. Okay. Any questions? I'd entertain a motion to <coughs> apply for this. So moved. Motion for Robert Taylor Jr. Is there a second? Second. Second from Mike Morgan. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Did I skip you? You skipped. <coughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> sorry. I skipped the uh, Street Sanitation Committee meeting minutes from today, October 17, 2016. <coughs> Chairman Mike Morgan, minutes will be provided at the meeting. Mike, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Thank you. The Street and Sanitation Committee met Monday, October 17, 2016 at 9 a.m. in the second floor conference room at City Hall. Members present, Mayor John Holden, Bill Eskew, Kevin Cheney, Committee Chairman Mike Morgan. Other aldermen present were Bob Kirk and Terry Glover. Staff and others present was John Damesworth, Sanitation Superintendent, Greg Williams, Purchasing, Brandon Hutchison of the State Gazette, Mike McCullough, Street and Water Department Superintendent, Scott Ball with Storm Water and Construction Inspector. The committee convened to discuss review of the RFP submission for the contracted solid waste services. Mr. Greg Williams presented various <coughs> professional submissions for solid waste collection services for residential and commercial customers. The committee decided to review the RFPs and re reconvene at a later date and to continue discussion of the information presented. Mr. Johnny Damesworth requested the committee to consider repairing or purchasing a used tractor at the landfill. The committee discussed the cost and re repair versus the cost of replacement. It was decided to replace the tractor provided the funds were available and the conditions of the replacement trade-in were appropriate to the city's purchasing policies. Mr. Anderson and Mr. Williams were asked to confirm the information if the conditions were met, then the committee would recommend the trade-in to the full board. Chairman Mike Morgan made a motion to approve the trade-in provided the funding and purchasing conditions were available and properly met. Automobile SQ second the motion the motion was approved by the committee and will be presented, presented tonight to the full board. And Greg did that under the bids. Next thing on was the Donaldson Construction Company resurfacing bid. And uh, uh, for the ones that didn't know, this was a company that came in about a different type of resurfacing 
uh, in our community. And uh, I think Scott Ball and the mayor and the engineer went to Raleigh, Missouri to look at it. And here's the information they come back with. Scott Ball presented the information from visiting Raleigh, Missouri's resurfacing projects. The following was noted. The product is highly recommended by the city of Rolla because the product has been performed very well since the original resurfacing began in 2007. The cost is substantially less than traditional resurfacing. The product is unique and patented. The streets in Rolla are almost free of potholes where the product has been applied. The product is mostly recommended for downtown and subdivision where the traffic is moderate. The Donaldson Company is prepared to begin the assessment and resurfacing of the target project, which was picked out in Pioneer Subdivision upon notification of the board approval. The project will be funded through the city's bond issue. The agreement of contract services and the stated quoted price of $201,557.72 may be approved through a cooperative purchase and agreement with Greene County, Missouri. On a motion by Alderman Kevin Chaney and the second one by Alderman Bill Eskew, the bid, the bid was approved by the committee and is being recommended tonight to the full board. And I'll make that in form of a motion. Okay, I have a motion from Mike Morgan. Is there a second? Second. Second from Bill Eskew. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. No further action was taken by the committee and the meeting adjourned <coughs> at 1030. Thank you, Mike. Sorry for skipping you. Next item on the agenda is item G, uh, request to rename the streets leading into Dysburg High School. I've uh, been asked to postpone this to uh, a future date, so we will do, we will do that. Uh, next item on the agenda, report from Alderman. Bob Kirk. Uh, yes, Mayor. Uh, thank you. Uh, this uh, community development block grant we got for the uh, improvement of the aging equipment at the main wastewater pump station. Thank you. Congratulations on getting it. I saw your picture in the paper with the governor, and, and uh, I thank you to be commended in your administration for, for getting this grant, uh, $596,000. I know for a period of time we've been trying to upgrade the equipment at the wastewater pump station with the screens and the weirs and uh, all the other things down there. What process are we in now? Have we done 50% or 20% or 30%? of the upgrade or do you know uh, I think we've done quite a bit honestly uh, we've appropriated money in the past budget years Mr. Glover may know more about that he's been down there to visit we've replaced uh, several of the weirs and this is just additional money that we got through the CDBG grant uh, actually Scott Ball and Tiffany and Bob Jones uh, were involved in the CDBG grant and did it uh, obviously Mike Goff as well uh, you remember we went and had to get applications filled out. CDBG does a little bit differently. You used to base it on an index. Uh, and now they, they request we get forms filled out. And Bob, Scott, Tiffany, I think Kelly uh, went and got all that done and submitted that. And that was one of the reasons why we were successful in that. But I would say 75% of that okay. has been and, done. And that is an annual grant? That, uh, it, uh, it's, it's cyclic. Oh, cyclic. Okay. <clears throat> right. So we're continuing to apply. I know that y'all have done it. Good job for applying for these Okay, thank you. Good job. Thank you. Mr. Eskew? I don't have anything, Mayor. Mr. Glover? I had a couple of uh, individuals came and contacted me after the street department had been out on Woodside on a, on a ditch over there. They were commenting how good a job they did. And they sought me out to tell me that. So Mike must have done something excellent over there. Thank he, you. He's grinning. He did something good right <laughs> here. <laughs> thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Glover. Anything else? Kevin? No, I don't have anything. Thank you, Mayor. Mike? Uh, I would say to the street department also, I noticed a few weeks ago that the uh, the bridge on Frank Maynard, I think right there by Phillips Extended, I think y'all cleaned that up and painted it or whatever, <clears throat> but it looked really good. I appreciate that over there. That's all. Thank you. He's not going to be able to walk out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I appreciate the job that you do and your departments do, and as well as all the department heads. Thank you very much. Um, <coughs> Mr. Moody? Ms. Carolyn? Nothing, sir. Robert? Yes, Mayor. Um, what steps did the residents of District L take uh, in regards to cutting down the smell and the uh, dust in our area, mainly around Drew and Dana, uh, all 51 South? Right. I think that issue was brought up at the Planning Commission meeting right. Thursday. It's a codes enforcement issue uh, with Kevin Jocelyn and Thomas Mullins. 
Obviously, Thomas was at that meeting. He's aware of those complaints, and I think they are looking into that now. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Got some here, so. Okay, we'll good deal. And thank you all for attending. We appreciate it very much. Um, I've, I've got two things. Early voting starts this Wednesday, the November 8th election. Uh, starts October 19th, 2016 through November 3rd, 2016. Two voting locations, one's at Dyer County Election Office. Um, they're open, they will be open Monday through Friday from 9 to 4, and also on Saturdays from 9 to, <clears throat> to 12. Then also at the Dysburg Mall on 2700 Lake Road, there's a voting location out there for early voting. It'll be Monday through Saturday, Saturday from 12 to 7. And again, it starts this Wednesday for early voting. It goes through when, where? Goes through November the 3rd. 3rd, okay. And then uh, one other thing I got, uh, we had met about uh, redoing our uh, ordinance for peddlers and solicitors. I've got that. I'll make copies and mail it to uh, you tomorrow, each of you tomorrow. So uh, that's from the attorneys that we've got. So any other questions? With that, we're adjourned. Thank you.